Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our five colonies of Castile. We have one another siege. We're at 100% now with this. We'll just do full annexation. Should all go directly to our guy. Excellent. How about the next people? The Shawnee. They're all in our territory. It's a lot of land for our little guy to have to handle. But they seemed to eat the Cherokee pretty easily. Sorry, the creek. So, they might have a, uh, like a reduction in cost. How about you? Why don't we just attack you? Your little guy. We'll call upon coalition members Pawatan. You're the only one. You are allied with the Huron and the Iroquois. They are not... Well, this one is. Okay, yep. I think we're just going to really, really, really feed our little vassal. Alright, so Barry is happy. Can we... I'm not going to do it. I, I would normally do that, but I don't want to make our country any stronger. Of course there's a rebellion. And I am gonna, I've been thinking about it a lot. I'm gonna do that thing. I'm definitely gonna do it. We're gonna just disband all of our troops, declare, like, make our country go bankrupt. Lots of problems, you know. For funsies. It's ridiculous how easy it is to force your country into bankruptcy. Let's just stop worrying about the Curia, also. I'm tired of the pop ups. And why do we not have a colonial nation here? Oh, it's because Tennessee's not a core yet. And it's going to take five more years. We need both of those. Well, in five years, it'll become a core. Or a colony. Vassalize or annex this one first. And yeah, in hindsight, we definitely should have just turned these into colonies. Colonies would actually pay us money instead of just giving us trade power. So we'd get money and trade power instead of just trade power. So having these guys as protectorates is rather dismal. And of course, protectorates down here kind of suck too. I really don't like protectorates. I've never... I've never liked him. I liked it better when you could just vassalize of people. But that seems to be the direction Paradox really wanted to go, so kinda gotta just play the game the way that they make it. Gotta end the war with this guy first. Hi Huron! We really don't have a lot of cannons.
This is a bad, bad army. Let's just get them to join. Okay. Two more one province miners are about to get eaten. Sounds great. Still don't understand why it costs diplomacy points when they're one province miner, but it costs nothing when you take stuff that's not the capital. Okay, never mind. It's not the war. It's because it's not part of the war goal. We're going to give our new little buddy colony, Eastern Spain, or whatever we call it, Spanish East Coast, a lot of land. A lot. <laughs> give them all of the land. Okay, we got a guy available again. I haven't even done, like, there hasn't even been a colonist here. And it's already at 287. That's pretty impressive how fast they're growing. So it looks like a few people joined in. Abenaki up there in the other zone, so we're gonna ignore them. We also see Fox. Yep, we need to siege them. We should go do that first. They have so much stuff to core. So much. They have to core, culture convert, totemism to convert. I mean, it's a lot of work for them. We'll wait until they get it all done <laughs> before we start to play as them. I don't want to mess with that. That'd be annoying. Hey, don't assault. What are you doing? Wow, he's a feisty little guy. He's Abenakis. They, they mean business. You're tired of my, my BS. Tired of putting up with me. forward to West Wealth of Nations. As I'm recording this, I'm thinking it's probably going to happen within the next two weeks. So, that would be amazing. You see how easy it is to keep prestige topped off? It just, it's, just, it's just too easy. They need to make it harder. Wars that we don't care about are happening around the world. But I like having the pop-ups because it does kind of force me to at least have an idea of what's going on in the world, you know? I really don't want to be involved in it, but... Yeah, Abenaki, they are really putting up a fight. One country I don't really care about. 
And this is occupied by you. Hey, they've got a claim on it. Hmm. Hey, we just integrated Morocco. Which gives us lots of territory to convert. Good thing we have four missionaries. Alright, so in this node now, I'm assuming next month, we'll see... We should have more trade power here. Joloff, you little bastard. Joloff is keeping 2.8 ducats here, all by themselves. started and then and there's still more to colonize we're not done yet Make sure these two cores are protected. They're important. They need to finish so that that colony can start. Another colony gets finished. Cool. So we've actually ended up doing three colonies down here just for the Spanish, like the Colonial Enthusiasm modifier. Every time I've colonized down here, it's been for that reason. Um, Colonial La Plata. I guess we send a couple down here just so we can try to get rid of this nation as well. I want to break off all of Spain's income, all the colonies, ideally. of military power. I guess we'll get a second guy. Another really good one. Five, three, five, two, four. No siege value, but not terrible. Nice, trading in cotton. It's a little chance, even better. So now these colonies are going to be just out, just outrageous. Look at that, 58% chance. So fast. Alliance offer from Bourbonnet? No. Peace offer from somebody that doesn't exist anymore? That's fun. Iroquois nationalists are kind of annoying. And one more siege, and we'll be able to wrap this one up and give it all to the colonial nation of our choosing. Well, the one that we want to play as. That I want to play as. Colonial enthusiasm 
is done. So hopefully we'll get a new one down in that La Plata region. Oh, we have forced march now. I should remember that. Let's put suppression on. And yep, yeah, we're at 100%. So let's just take the whole thing. Full annexation. Sounds good. 100% overextension. But not really. Oh, well, that's interesting. For some reason, we kept a couple. Oh, they're not even in our region. Oops. And it's too far away for us to colonize. Or to core. What about now? Ah, good. Now that that colony just arrived, we can do it. Good. It'll take 80 months. God. Okay, well, at least this region's getting pretty big. Looks like there might be another country there. Who is it? Identify yourself. Oh, no, it's nobody. But it is part of the region, so we should colonize that one as well. And that pretty much does it for the colonial region. England's got a little bit more land in it. Spanish East Coast is pretty strong. We can actually see how many troops they have in this screen. Spanish East Coast has 13 regiments. Altogether. Or 13 units, I guess it might be. Not really sure where that math comes from. But, um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to take a break here, and in the next video we're going to play Speed 5, just try to get this all done, and then we will break free. So, thanks for watching everyone, see you soon.